This is a fly called the Little Marriott, uh, originated by George Selwyn Marriott, who was a compatriot of Frederick Halford, widely regarded as the father of the modern dry fly. Uh, this is more the Catskill version, closer to the Catskill version, but I do use the old British technique of winging the fly which I hope will be of interest. This technique was used in the States as well, and a great tutorial is found in J. Edson Leonard's book, Flies, from 1950. This hook is a number 16 Daiichi standard dry fly. Preston Jennings has primrose as the color of thread in his recipe, and the thread is Beneki 12 odd. I'm taking it halfway down the shank leaving a little space behind the eye, which is a Catskill tradition. We're going to do this fly in a Catskill style, but the wings, this is the old British way of mounting wings. You really have to adhere precisely to the instructions for these. You want the curved part of the leading edge of the wing to lead. You don't want to don't want to put them on like this. You don't want the straight up and down part. You want the curved part towards the front. It makes a big difference. And if you tie a lot of no hackles, it's the opposite way you tie in a no hackle. So I tied a number of these incorrectly, and they just pan out so much better if you put the curved part forward tips to the rear. I'll take three hard wraps while tilting the slips towards yourself. And this is tricky. You have to switch hands here and you're going to double the butts back as, as I'm doing here. And it's all, all the while trying to maintain the pinch. We used to do this with the stems on fan wings. I have to do one of those someday. And then you'll get to a point where you can kind of pinch them both with the right hand. Both the butts that are doubled back and the wings themselves. Get a turn on there. And we're going to bind these down back behind the wings, which if, if you do it right, makes the wings upright. Now this whole time, these wings will want to split. And it's a good idea to hand, handle them as, as little as you can. Toward that end, you need them upright from the get. From the very beginning, you want these upright. That helps, especially with the hackle. Later when you go to wind the hackle, uh, you don't get into the wings as much with it. Um, other things can affect these, so get, try to get them upright. And everything from now on, you, you're just doing your best not to split these wings. These wings will really want to split. The, the uh, slips <clears throat> are taken from the lower third of, the, uh, of a right and left mallard feather primary feather from right and left mallard wings. Here I'm flattening and uh, separating the wings a little bit, trying to get them situated just the way I want them. And of course, already I'm, I'm handling these too much. It's uh, part of my obsessive nature not always a good thing. I'm trying to get the leading edge out a little bit here on the near wing. That's pretty good. This is um, this is a whiting tailing pack ginger feather from that, and it's it's not really cocktail leone. It's um, it's a spade hackle. You only want, I don't know, three to five strands. This is a, 
very sparse fly. I'm just going to tie this on here and see, see what I think. Hard to measure it to length, and yeah, that's too long, even though the, the original British flies did have very long tails, but that's, that's too long. Um, I want about, about hook length for a Catskill fly. Just roll it up there. Working, work on getting a nice smooth body and taper going forward with the thread. And then don't go all the way back to the uh, to the tail, just part of the way. And we're going to get ready to dub. And look how little of this fur. This is Australian possum. Look how little of this I've got on here. It it looks bulkier under heavy magnification, but this is very very finely dubbed as finely dubbed as I could possibly get it using fur. And uh, you need to challenge yourself and try to get a reasonable body with fur. It's not easy to do. A lot of fur bodies are big and bulky, and I just don't like that. This is a uh, whiting cock hackle off a neck, and it's ginger. Back on the fur body rant, uh, Preston Jennings liked a very fine body. Catskill flies traditionally use neck hackle. Um, don't use a lot of uh, saddle hackle with Catskill style flies. Not, not true Catskill flies anyway. I always like to bind down the the hackle butt in front of the wings as well as, as behind, uh, just for added security. Also trim them up there. And I am really trying to avoid the wings here at all costs. J. Edson Leonard suggests taking a lot of time with this fly. And truer words were never spoken, especially where winding the hackles concerned. There is an awful lot that can go wrong here. And this is where it gets tricky, winding this hackle and trying to avoid the, the wings at the same time. Normally I would just take wings and push them out of the way, but you can't do that with these. Or if you do, you, you've got to be very careful because they just want to split. And they'll want to split when you fish the flies, so it might be irrelevant. I don't know. But they'll, they'll still take fish with split wings, so it's not the end of the world if they split. And if you haven't used Dave's Flex Cement or some kind of fixative on the backs of these wings... You can marry them right back together. Hold the hackle under tension, cut it. Normally I would pick out strays, but a lot of times they're just, it's just hackle that's angled forward. It's hard to tell if they're strays or not. I see I do have one stray here. I'll get it later. I'm kind of on a roll here. I want to go, I want to go two or three turns back here and then try to get a whip finish on this. See how I almost got into that far wing there. It's so easy to do at this stage of the fly. And of course I've got, always got to stop and mess with everything. It's one of my rules. And I have really taken my time on this. With a little practice, you could get much faster with it, with this, but this this is a difficult winging technique, I think. It's difficult for me. Let me put it that way. And uh, I'll get this stray plucked out here, but not before I mess with the wings and screw up the far wing a little bit. But the beauty part is this stuff will marry back if you... If, you spend a little time with it. Still got a little issue with the far wing. 
That should be fairly easy to resolve. You just play with it a little bit and you'll get it. And here's the finished fly. And this winging technique is a lot of fun. I'd like to try a fly in the true British tradition. It might be a little easier not having hackle in back and in front of it. And I may do that in a future video. My next video will be Joe's Hopper, a request from Colin.